This past Friday, there was a 16-player 5K Invitational Tournament hosted by Apex Gaming and sponsored by TCG Player. Many of these players earned their spot at this Invitational by coming in first place in other in-person tournaments, and this was the top deck in that Invitational Tournament, winning a nice $2,000. Let's take a look at the deck, and then I have a few games to highlight just how good this deck is at the end. This deck kicks off with four copies of Stitch New Dog, which while being a one-cost 2-2 character, is also an early shift target for Stitch Rockstar, which there is two of in this deck. While this deck only runs eight total 1 and 2 drops, Stitch Rockstar is also a 3 lore quester that we can potentially have on board as early as turn 4. Speaking of 1 and 2 drops, our only other one is four copies of Grandma Tala Storyteller. While Grandma Tala offers a good ramp option, she is also a payoff for the previously mentioned Stitch Rockstar star and stitch carefree surfer and as a two drop is also a candidate to sing two of the three songs this deck runs moving on to three costs and we start with another ramp card and four copies of mickey mouse detective this card is probably the best ramp card in the game and helps this deck get to high ink counts for later payoffs this deck also has three copies of mr smee loyal first mate which boasts the highest willpower of any three cost or less card with five this lets him dodge one-hit knockouts from Gaston or Rafiki, and as such is a great setup card for our next card, which is four copies of Rapunzel gifted with healing. Having higher willpower cards in this deck like Mr. Smee lets us swing into something without getting banished, then play Rapunzel to heal three damage and draw three cards, which is the best advantage in the game right now. Rapunzel also forces the opponent to fully commit to targeting one of our characters because if they leave damage on a character, we can drop Rapunzel to heal and draw. Another four cost in this deck is four copies of Hades Lord of the Underworld. This card lets us recycle a character back to our hand and with so many payoffs in this deck like Rapunzel and both stitches, we can recycle their effect even after they've been banished. The final four drop is four copies of Belle Strange But Special. I'm going to be honest, I haven't really thought this card is all that great because of her low willpower and her effect of inking a second card will just deplete the deck without any draw support, but I think playing this deck turned me around. At only 4 cost and our other ramp, when we get to 10 plus ink, we can drop multiple a turn and even if they are banished, we get out a quick 5 lore for only 4 cost and we can use Hades to bring Bell back to our hand to play at a future turn. Kicking off 5 cost cards with 2 copies of Maximus Palace Horse, which has Bodyguard to protect our other characters and offers 5 willpower so offers some payoff with Rapunzel. Maximus also adds support so when we quest with him we add his 4 strength to another character letting us take out something like an Elsa or an opposing Stitch. This deck also runs four copies of Maleficent Uninvited, which with six willpower is another Rapunzel payoff, but also quests for an amazing three lore. Next up is three copies of Robin Hood Unrivaled Archer, which is a tech for evasives and lets us draw a card if our opponent has more cards in hand than us, and with our ramping we will probably have less cards than our opponent. The first of two 7 drops is Stitch Carefree Surfer, which we run 4 copies of. This card is a great late game option, letting us draw 2 if we have 2 or more characters in play, which we absolutely will late game. He also has 8 willpower, which is tied for the second most willpower of any character, and he quests for 2. The other 7 drop is 4 copies of Hades Infernal Schemer. This card provides another late game option, letting us remove an opposing character and put it in their inkwell when he is played. This is great for single target removal and is another two lore quester. On to actions and we start with one of the best actions in You Have Forgotten Me, which forces our opponent to discard two cards. This card was definitely slept on when this set released, but is quickly picking up steam and is an excellent mid to late game counter to counter decks, forcing them to discard something like a Be Prepared or Maleficent Monstrous Dragon that they were sitting on. For songs, we start with four copies of Be Our Guest. This card can help us find pieces that we need, like Rapunzel to heal and draw, or a Robin Hood for evasives, and it's inkable, so if we don't need it, we can make sure that we have ink for the turn. This deck also runs three copies of One Jump Ahead. I really don't see too much of this card anymore, mainly because it's uninkable, so it can be a dead draw in that mid to late game. I'd be interested to see the tournament matchups from this deck to see how often this was used. Our final card is four copies of Let It Go, which is identical to Hades Infernal schemer giving us targeted removal but is also a five cost song meaning we can sing it for free with a good chunk of our characters before i jump into some gameplay if you enjoyed these deck highlights and playthroughs please leave a like and consider subscribing for more lorcana content now let's show off how good this deck is all right looks like we are going to go second we see stitch be our guest hades rapunzel 
Gotta let it go. Grandma Tala. Let me get rid of this. Stitch, Carefree Surfer. Let it go. And Hades. We see both of our Stitch rock stars. That's okay. We do have our Stitch new dog in hand. Looks like the opponent is going to ink a flounder and then past us we see a Robin Hood. I'm going to go ahead and ink one of these Stitch Rock Stars to get our Stitch New Dog in play and then pass. Look, they are going to ink a Grandma Tala and then play a Grandma Tala. So all we've seen so far is Sapphire. We see a Maximus. I'm going to go ahead and ink this Be Our Guest. We don't really need it right now. And get our own Grandma Tala in play and then quest with Stitch. They're going to ink a Prince Eric, so they are a Sapphire Steel deck. They get a Mickey Mouse Detective down to ramp. And then one jump ahead that they sung with Grandma Tala to ramp to five. We see another Stitch New Dog. I'm going to go ahead and ink that because I don't really need it right now. I'd like to get this Mr. Smee on the board here. And then I'm just going to quest with Stitch and Grandma Tala. They drop another Grandma Tala. And a Hercules with the bodyguard here. And it looks like they are just questing as well. We see another Grandma Tala. We go ahead and ink this Robin Hood because we have more cards in hand and they're not going to have evasive. So we'll just ink that, get out a second Grandma Tala. And then I'm going to go ahead and swing our Grandma Tala just to ramp. And then I am going to quest and pass. And they're going to swing with their Grandma Tala. Ramp up to 6 ink. And do the same with the other one. So they'll be up to 7 ink. And then they'll just go ahead and take it out. So that's alright. We don't have our Rapunzel target. But they did have to use both their stitches or their Grandma Talas and then also put two damage on Hercules. We see another Grandma Tala. I'm going to go ahead and get Maximus into play here. And then I'm going to go ahead and take out their Hercules with our Grandma Tala. That lets us ramp and we get rid of a big bodyguard. And quest with Stitch. And then I think I'm just going to go ahead and ink this other Grandma Tala here and pass. And they're going to quest with Mickey Mouse. We see a Mr. Smee. I'll go ahead and drop that Mr. Smee. And then I'm going to go ahead and take out their Mickey Mouse. That puts one on Maximus. So their Captain Hook could do a total of three, which would still leave us with one left and be good Rapunzel target. So quest with Stitch and pass. They have a... Let it go, and they pick Mr. Smee. That's weird, I guess. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. They should have let it go Maximus here because we have our Rapunzel. They knew we were on Amber, so we'll go ahead and Rapunzel to heal three and then draw three. See Stitch, a Robin Hood, and a one jump ahead. I'm gonna go ahead and ink this Robin Hood because, again, we have more cards, and we don't need the evasive tech. And I will go ahead and shift onto Stitch New Dog. And that way I can play Stitch New Dog to draw a card. I see a You Have Forgotten Me. That will be perfect for later because they are down to three cards in hand. And I'm just going to go ahead and quest. And the support doesn't really matter. So let's go ahead and pass. And they have a Hades Infernal Schemer. They target our Rapunzel. That's weird her effect has been used i don't they're making some very weird choices but we see uh hades lord of the underworld we'll go ahead and stitch care free to draw to we see our bell we see another you have forgotten me which i will ink and then i am going to just play you have forgotten me which will take them down to one card and only a hades in play and I'm just going to head and quest all the way out. Again, support doesn't matter. And this should pretty much be game. I don't, I don't really know where they go. I know they could have another let it go, Hades. But, yep, there is the 
concession. So I think you can really see with this deck how it can just really combo off each other, letting us draw more cards, a lot of high lore questers. So let's go ahead and jump into a second game to see if we can continue this victory streak we're on. All right, and we're going to go first in this matchup. We see Mickey Mouse, Hades, Rapunzel, Be Our Guest, a Stitch Rockstar, another Be Our Guest. So let's get rid of this Hades. We'll get rid of the Rockstar because we don't have a new dog. The other Hades and one of the Be Our Guests. We have two Rapunzels. We do have a Bell in hand. I'm going to go ahead and ink this You Have Forgotten Me since it's still early game. Looks like they are going to ink a Let It Go. And then play a Captain Hook. Looks like it's another Sapphire Steel deck. We see our own Let It Go, which I'm going to go ahead and ink. We don't need that right now. And then play a Be Our Guest. And I'm going to just draw this Robin Hood here because it'll be nice ink fodder because I like the rest of our hand. They ink a Big Tink. And then play an Aurora. And just quest with their Captain Hook. I'm going to ink that Robin Hood to get Mickey Mouse Detective into play to ramp up to four and then pass. They're going to ink a Develop Your Brain and play a little Tinkerbell and Quest. And we see a Grandma Tala. Go ahead and ink this Stitch Rockstar. And then I'll just go ahead and play the bell out and ink our second Rapunzel here and play Grandma Tala and then just go ahead and quest with Mickey Mouse and pass. Looks like they are going to ink an Aurora and they are going to drop their big Tinker Bell, which knocks out our Grandma Tala. That's all right. That does give us our ink. And then they're going to take out our Mickey Mouse and put a couple more damage on Bell. And Quest, but that is all right because we have a Rapunzel in hand. We see a Stitch New Dog, which I'm going to go ahead and ink. Drop our Rapunzel to heal three and draw three. Maleficent. One jump ahead, you have forgotten me. I'm gonna go ahead and drop the Hades just to get a Mickey Mouse back. Give us a ramp option and a future turn here. And I'm gonna pass. I don't wanna give Tinkerbell any easy fodder to deal more damage. They're gonna drop a Mickey Mouse Detective. I'll let them ramp up to five. And they're gonna ink an Eye of the Fates. And it looks like they are just going to quest with their big Tinkerbell. We see another Robin Hood here, which I'm going to go ahead and ink. Takes us up to nine ink. And then I'm going to play the You Have Forgotten Me, make them discard their last two cards. So while they have good board presence, they are now top decking. And we will play the Mickey Mouse Detective to ramp up to ten. So now Bell does quest for five total. I'm going to go ahead and put one on the Tinkerbell and then go ahead and just trade our Hades with the big Tink and then quest for five with Bell and pass. They see another Aurora. All right, they're going to take out our Bell, but they are going to have to trade two for one, which since they are, or not two for one because Mickey Mouse has three, but they will take out our Rapunzel. We see a Robin Hood. I'm gonna go ahead and sing one jump ahead with Mickey Mouse, then drop a Maleficent. And I, the Mickey Mouse comes into play exerted. I forgot about that, so I can't play the Robin Hood with it, but that's all right. We want Maleficent on board for the three lore. And I'll pass. And they're gonna quest with Mickey Mouse and Aurora and their other Aurora here, taking them up to 14. So we are at a little bit of a deficit, but I'm going to go ahead and play our Hades to take out the Aurora that has no damage. 
And then I can Mickey Mouse into the Aurora to keep our Mickey Mouse alive. And then I can quest for three with Maleficent and pass. Looks like they're going to quest and pass. So now our Robin Hood is online for us to be able to draw a card. I'm gonna go ahead and trade with their Mickey Mouse. Then play Robin Hood. So we get the draw a card. We see another Mickey Mouse. And then I'm gonna get Mr. Smee on board. And then go ahead and quest for three and two. So it's close now, 15 to 14, and they have no board presence. So they could have let it go to remove stuff, Hades, but we're in a really good spot. They just drop an Aurora Dreaming Guardian. That's not going to do it. And, yep, there is the concession. So I think these two games really showed that this deck is a deck to be reckoned with in this meta. It has so many different pieces that can combo off each other and really keep up with any color combination currently. If you enjoyed this video, please leave it a like and consider subscribing for more Lorcana content.